This is a Celestron Schmidt Cassie Grand Design C8 telescope. I think this is one of the most versatile telescopes that I know of. And its native focal length is about 2000 millimeters at f10 focal ratio. It can be very useful for planetary imaging. You can increase this focal length to twice or even more than that and that suits very well for planetary imaging. And at the same time, you can also reduce its focal length to nearly 1250 millimeters and it is focal ratio 6.3 by using a flattener reducer from Celestron or some other manufacturer. And that makes it very useful for taking good images from, of several deep sky objects. Very interestingly, you can also convert this telescope to a very low focal length, like about 400 millimeters, and with a focal ratio of 2.0. Well, and that, that makes it very suitable for taking wide field images of deep sky objects. And for this purpose, you actually need to have a hyperstar lens, which gives very good results, but it's a fairly expensive device. Well, I've done an experiment. I've tried to use a field flattener that we normally use with Newtonian telescopes on this particular telescope. I've tried to use that and I'll be sharing with you my experiences of the results with that particular flattener and I'll also be showing you how to actually use that flattener on this particular telescope. I hope you like it. The first thing that you need to do is that you have to take this uh, secondary mirror from the telescope off. And this can be done quite easily by simply unscrewing this and very carefully taking the mirror out. Be very careful with it because it's a delicate mirror and then you have to keep it at a safe place. And then this is that field flattener. It's a two inch device, but you can't fit it straight away like this because this hole is larger than the two centimeter or uh, two inches size. I've developed a particular adapter which measures from inside two inches and this can fit very well on this particular scope and then you can tighten the screw and this is very stable and now you can actually insert flattener in it and then by tightening the screws this can become stable and you can attach the camera in front of the scope. Well the simplest thing I think one could do is that this is a camera ZWO 294MC Pro and uh, this can actually be used without using a flattener by just inserting into this adapter and you can take pictures. But the problem with this picture is that they are wide field, but the periphery of these images, they have got stars which are very elongated and distorted, and we don't want to see that. So in order to correct for that, uh, we need to know that why these stars at the periphery are distorted. Basically, it's, it's a uh, mirror the shape of the mirror, its parabolic shape, the image which is generated, it has distortion at the extreme ends. And that can be corrected. I think the best way to correct is that you use a sensor which is curved, but that, that's fairly difficult job. An alternate is that you have a system of lenses which can actually can correct for the, that particular curvature. Well, Hyperstar lens basically also does the same. Now, when we use this particular flattener, its job is again to do the same thing. By removing the secondary mirror from this telescope, you actually convert into a 400 millimeter Newtonian telescope. And this device, which is actually used on Newtonian telescopes, this can be used over here. And then you can tighten these screws just to make it secure. Once the field flattener is fixed, the next step is to 
use this camera with it. The back focus of this field flattener is 55 millimeters. So if you're using a ZW camera, you have to make sure that you are using adequate number of spacers so that it should allow an exact 55 millimeters of back focus. And so ultimately fixing this camera is fairly simple. You just have to screw it tightly and securely. No need to over tighten it. Now this is ready to be used. You can attach the cables with it and then they can be connected either to the ASII Air Pro or with a laptop, computer or whatever device you use with it. Thanks for watching.